Here are a few tips that will help you avoid arguing with your dance partner. Number one, you wanna work on new ideas separately. If you are a leader, sometimes you may not know where you wanna go and followers depend on leaders knowing exactly where to lead them. So one of the things I used to do is use a stationary object as my reference point and maneuver myself around the object to figure out the logistics of where my body needs to be in relationship to my partner. I always like to use a chair, but you can use anything. This will allow you to outline the big picture of the idea before having to get into the details with your partner. Once you've done this, it's much easier to transition into the next step, and that is this. Practice the shape without rhythm. So once you reconnect with your partner, let them know you're not looking for a perfect response. Instead let them know you're trying to walk through the shape without the demand of doing it in rhythm or with music. If you think about it, the leader doesn't make the moves happen. They simply start them. On the other hand, it's the follower who technically completes the move. Walking through the shape together allows leaders to map out the idea without followers needing to have perfect execution. And it really works. And lastly, you want to practice the idea while social dancing. In order for the idea to be legit, it has to work when you're social dancing or it's just choreography. This is actually the part that brings the fun back into the practice. The reason you have to do this is because once you get the big picture of the idea, then you must process it within the context of your roles as leaders and followers. If you don't know your role with simplicity as leaders and followers, check out my course in the description below. Now, if you both don't know your role with clarity, you will end up naturally switching job descriptions. The leader will end up thinking it's the leader's job to make the move happen. And followers will be thinking about what needs to happen next. And in reality, it should just simply be the opposite taking place. Like I said, this method has worked for me for many years, and I hope it helps you in your practice sessions. If this video has helped you, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Also consider supporting the channel on Patreon. And as a gift, you will get free access to my online swing dance school. I'll see you in class.